guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about my Allen prints. If you saw my last video, I said I wanted to kind of talk to you about the process I went through, um, what I think he was printing, and not only about him, but the prints I kind of did before him, um, and how I kind of ended to this result. So this is like all the prints I did in Madrid as well, whilst I did the sketchbook. Um, so the first one I actually did was attempted to do this face. Um, so this is just one of my drawings, like I'd say of the other ones, where I do continuous line, I don't look at the person, I don't look at the paper, sorry, I just look at the person and see where my pen takes me and then afterwards I'll add more detail with the little pens, so I'll use the ink moody pen again um, and then use the little fine one, the 0.38 pen to do the little details. Um, and then yeah, when I was in Madrid, the teacher was like, um, can you do a print workshop? And I've done a few prints. I did one from my um, final thing last year. Hang on. Last year, for example, I did this Fuck You Not Me campaign. Um, so this is a lino print, and that's kind of the basic printings I've done. I made around 60 of these, and I got people to sign them as a petition against rape and sexual abuse and things. Um, so yeah, I hadn't really known much about prints, so I kind of wanted to experiment with it first before I could teach them. Um, so yeah, this was the piece. Um, as you can see, can you see? There's a few holes in it, a few cuts where I went too deep. Um, I find this one of the most difficult things with linos is just I always end up going too deep and especially, not sure you can see again but the details I couldn't really capture the little dots and the tears, the lines um, and the end result wasn't too horrific but it wasn't what I wanted really so here, this was the one I'm not too... this one's okay <laughs> um, I had to obviously cut down some more black bits because it came off um, you can see I kind of drew back over this when it was done. This one just didn't really work. I was trying to do the ombre effect. Kind of the black tears and the black lost the detail of the crosses. Um, then yeah, there was another one. Probably kind of the most successful. The thing I struggled a lot of doing this was the pressure of the roller print. Um, so we obviously have technicians at uni and I, she was just kind of like, you do it, you know what you're doing. And I'm like, no I don't, please. Um, but no, they could have been worse. Um, so from this, I kind of thought, yeah, 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 <laughs> didn't especially work, so let's try something else. Um, and I tried to do a nude one. And if you remember this piece, this was from my last um, sketch of Taurus, saying how much I liked this piece, with my first kind of nudes in that the same style, the tracing there. Um, so yeah, this was the cut. Again, I found. So, didn't learn. My card got full. Don't hate me. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, yeah, this is the nude I tried, the line I cut. I didn't iron oh, it. <laughs> I broke for it once down there. Um, again, as I was saying, I found this really hard with the thing textures, and altogether, it didn't especially work. Um, like, it's nice and bold. It's they remind me a lot of wood cuts you would get. Um, they could be worse, could be better, maybe they'd be like a nice sticker or something. Um, but one thing these prints taught me is to not just leave it as a print, to then look at working on top of it. So here, oh you can see, is it focused? Can you see? Mm -hmm, maybe? Um, you can see I kind of put some acrylic paints on the nipples. So it adds a nice texture to it. I know it's putting a nipple, I'm sorry, that's not in a weird anyway. Um, I put some shading in the pencil, went around with my little thin 0.38 Moody pen. Um, and I really like this. And then here, even more so, kind of bold lines, the red line, Brubacog, Brub, 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 Barba Kruger, I think that's how you say it, um, style sort of thing. And I think, think this adds so much more to it. So this is definitely what this sort of mistakes, not mistakes, but like not what I kind of wanted, um, taught me. And then on to Alan. Is Alan next? Yeah. So if you remember this, this is my good guy, the guy in the front cover, I absolutely loved. My first kind of successful print that I really enjoyed to do. Oh, there's another one on my 
So yeah, him I made a lot of pieces. The good old pile here. Um, so let's see. <laughs> Sorry, this is like a catastrophe mess. I'm not very good at organisation, okay? I'm, I'm a classic art student. So, this is Alan, original Alan State. Um, first I kind of did him all like this, and then you may see and you'll see other prints. Um, if I would go back and do this, I would do the whole paper. Um, I don't really know what I was thinking, I didn't really have a plan, I was just kind of experimenting with this. Um, I should have, as I said, done all of it, but it's okay, we learn from mistakes, still really like him. So yeah, um, let me organise these quick. another one ah there's so many <laughs> so these are my most basic ones from it as you can see this one was good I was happy with this one <laughs> um, most of the um, the ink I found really difficult I very much as before struggled with getting the right pressure I forgot that with prints it's best to soak your paper beforehand um, I forgot kind of that the preparation that goes into printing because I did research, watched YouTube videos and they kind of showed me the process and I was like, oh shit, like, I forgot to do that, maybe that will help, and it did. Um, like here, for example, you can see if there was so too much ink, it kind of bled, it splurged, and you can kind of see amongst all the others. Um, so yeah, that one was not a success, but here, again, you kind of lose the eyes. Um, this is one of my successful ones, as I said, it's a lot clearer. Here I experimented so then I could maybe put the little guy I print him on top and I realised why would I put dark as a background and then print a light colour on top but that's not how it works, you should do light colour and dark colour. So I have four of those which I don't really know what to do with, maybe I can cut them out, I don't really know. Um, these guys, just basics, um, ones I can experiment again with more if I wanted, a kind of repetition, um, like a little miserable ooh, tripod um, a little miserable prison line I feel um, and these ones here are the ones I'm most proud of really the ones I like the most I'm trying to think of my no so this one I really like wait let's start here so here as I said with these other ones I did black and I was like hang on that doesn't really work so here I did red um, first and then cut out the Alan figure and then printed him on top in black which I think was really successful. It's very kind of like demon like, like hell like, um, which I didn't really want. It was called my, it's more kind of a, it's kind of a sad print, I don't really know. It's just, he looks more angry and evil which wasn't what I wanted. Alan's sweet and nice I feel. And this one I really liked. So I went, printed it all in black. It was kind of similar to this one. Um, apart from it wasn't as well done. I think I did this one first but then didn't re-roll the ink and then put it on here. Um, so yeah that's why the figure is a bit fainter. Um, then on here this is red acrylic paint so with little white dots on top. Um, so you can kind of feel the tears like it's a bit 3D. And then I just went over the back with black ink to make it bolder and I really like this. Um, again the tears kind of like blood. <laughs> a little cute character, I guess kind of sad, I don't really know. <laughs> Um, many of my pieces, I don't really know like what they can fit. I guess some of them, because it's kind of art therapy style, do you come as a bit emotional, not emotional, but like emotions? I don't really know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like that one. I just wish they were bigger, like done in the full size. They're very kind of small, like that's A5 size, and it's like smaller than A5, you know? You know? Not yet. This one. Yeah, really like this guy, so you can see I had him taped to my wall. Um, so similar to this, sorry, kissing to this, it came out a bit faint. Um, you can kind of see in the background, so these bits are these dark black bits I did with the ink. Um, and yeah, so I went over here with ink, um, like um, good old Winsburg Newton Black Indian ink. Winsburg Newton ink, yeah. Um, recommend, that's my mum always used as well. And then this went over it with Red Viro. I really like the kind of the texture that Viro gave it. Um, maybe it was a bit very veiny, but I liked it. Um, here I think he looks really cute and funny. 
Um, he has a little red outline with the black, using the ink again. And just has little white eyes. And I really like the mouth on this. They're very, like, they're very different. You can see, like, just what a basic change is can totally change the atmosphere, I guess. Like, the character, like, here is very kind of, like, sad, maybe angry, I don't really know. Angry, I guess. Whereas here it's a bit like, oh my god, I'm like shocked, like something's happened, like ah, it reminds me of um, like you'd go an anime when they have like all the exaggerated lines that go around the face when they're angry or sad or something happens. Um, so yeah, really like Alan. So that's the Alan, famous L. Um, then from this, I did go on to do one more print, um, which originated from, I want to say a digital print, I couldn't really find the sketchbooks, but here, you can see, I didn't really plan anything at all. So, he was... I still don't like, you can actually see. This guy, originally. Um, two little characters together. Here you can see a bit more prepared planned, using the whole thing. Um, still messed up a little bit, like this should be more another little thing <laughs> here. Um, but didn't break through it. That's the start of this one. Didn't break through, there's no little holes in it. Only hollers when you take the character out, of course. Um, so yeah, when I first do this, I don't cut them out straight away. I do a normal hole print and then take it from there. Um, so yeah, the prints so much better themselves. Like that quality, the ink levels, you can kind of see I nailed, not nailed it, but like considering that's so clear and this one's so spodgy. So practice makes perfect, guys. Like of course, um, but I don't really plan. What's going to do these prints? I think this was like my last week in Madrid, so I was very kind of stressed. Like I need, to, I want to do more prints before I leave. What do I do? Um, so yeah, here you can tell this one's a lot lighter than this one. I think you can tell. Can you tell? I can't really see. You know. Um, but yeah, just so much clearer. Um, here I tried to make them darker in the background lighter, but didn't really work so much. Um, and then, like others. The best thing I think for your prints is to experiment with them. That's like the most fun of it. So this one's too light, but what I could do is go over the rim with ink, go over the back with ink, get my red bio out, doodle on them. Like the whole process is doodling and experimenting as you go. Um, this one, I tried to do like a red ombre from the head down. Didn't really do much, not special. This one I really like, um, the red outline, again that Bob, Barbara Kruger girl, <laughs> last, um, adds a lot of, I don't know, really nice, just a nice illustration, I think there's some food on it, um, nothing more to say really, I don't really know what to call these guys, I don't even know if you have any names, like Carl, I really like, like, old, old man names, like when I get pets and dogs in the water, like, I really want to have old man named pets, <laughs> um, like my dog's called Bob, our cat was called Ted, I had a hamster called, I had a fish called Dave, um, and uh, yeah, it's like really weird random old names, I know, rambling. Um, it's another one, don't really like this one, but plays a lot with kind of light dots, textures. Red, that was more successful on the red black ombre, still a bit bleedy and too much. And then this one's my favourite one for it. Um, really sweet, I think. Um, again, like here, I wish there was just a little bit more <laughs> red scale thing. Um, I really like them. Again, like, let me know for name options. Not really sure. I have quite a few of these, and I could make more. So I'm hoping to get um, my Etsy store running off in like the next two weeks. I just ordered some more packaging bits to send bits out. So follow me on my Instagram, Weird Art Mills, and I'll keep you dated on my Etsy stuff. But yeah, printing. So main things I say for printing: experiment. Don't expect it to go perfect kind of be prepared but you don't have to be too prepared be open to mess ups because I mess up so much but you learn to deal with it really you can like improvise you can good thing about art is you can kind of bullshit your way through it um you can be like oh yes this showed me how to cover up an ink splodge and make it look pretty like ugh. like I've recently been doing some prints and I loved one and then I got loads of ink splodges on it so I kind of messed it up like just photograph and document as you go and you'll be fine um so yeah also I've just finished my other art sketchbook so I'll do a video of that next keep dated and yeah follow me on Instagram keep an eye out for my Etsy store and 
I'll see you next week. Bye.